Hello, and welcome to our channel, Jetro Startup. I'm Will from Jetro San Francisco. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Tomohiro Fukuzawa, CEO of SkyDrive. SkyDrive is a leading Japanese manufacturer of aircraft known as Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, also known as eVTOL, more commonly referred to as flying cars. In 2019, SkyDrive succeeded in the first crewed flight test in Japan. And this year, they announced their plans to enter the U.S. market and establish a headquarters in South Carolina. Today, I'd like to discuss their challenges and explore their approach to expanding their business globally. Fukuzawa-san, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for having your time. Thank you. Yeah, so to get started, uh, could you just tell us a little bit more about SkyDrive's technology and the overall business? Yeah, um, we are a startup company in Japan uh, which developed uh, flying car or EV tow, and it flies vertically uh, from anywhere and, and with electric, so eco-friendly uh, aircraft company. And we are uh, basically in Japan, and we had a, have a global team with about uh, 300 engineers and members. And <clears throat> we are now proceeding our, our project to uh, start uh, setting our first um, EV tow called SD05 in 2025. Excellent, thank you. So in the past few years, uh, we've seen an increasing number of EV tow and flight car projects from various companies around the world. What would you say are SkyDrive's strengths uh, compared to your editors? Yeah, at first, um, we are now <clears> on <throat> our development speed is very fast. So there are about uh, 300 and well, 400 companies or project of EVTOL around the world. And we have uh, started a month test flight uh, just after three years of, uh, after our foundation. And we are now uh, proceeding uh, for a um, commercial uh, vehicle. And uh, we are targeting 2025 and the timing is uh, almost uh, the fastest uh, in the world. And also, our uh, vehicle is most compact size around the world, so we can um, take off and landing anywhere, uh, for example, at the top of the building or a very narrow space or like that. So, yeah, uh, we can use uh, the sky uh, most freely. Excellent. Great. Yeah, so you mentioned 2025. And uh, we've heard the SkyDrive has been selected as the uh, operator of flying cars uh, to be a major attraction at the Osaka World Expo in 2025. So what are your goals for the expo? And we also would like to know, uh, will visitors be able to try out flying in your vehicle? Yeah. Uh, 50 years ago, uh, there was an Osaka Expo um, beforehand, and that and electric vehicle or <clears throat> um, many uh, new technology are coming from Osaka Expo and it is now common uh, around the world. And uh, we want to start a business uh, in Osaka Expo and people know how future uh, becomes like. And people who want to uh, ride at first will start um, riding or buying our product. So it is very good for uh, showing our uh, future life and also um, entertain many people to buy SkyDrive because Great. I'm sure many people are looking forward to trying that out. Yeah. So the Japanese government accepted your application uh, for a certificate about two years ago, uh, which was the first case uh, in Japan. Yep. And since then, you've been developing your use cases for commercialization. Could you explain a little bit more about the different use cases? Yeah, uh, there are several use cases now, and uh, one is uh, for entertainment. <clears throat> so, for example, uh, if we uh, go to the sky for sightseeing, uh, the cost of helicopter is very high, and, uh, and the cost of Ibito is much less and more quiet. So, um, people living in the neighborhood uh, don't care about the noise too. So, uh, those kind of sightseeing cases, and also, we are talking about emergency cases, as uh, the helicopter cost of helicopter is uh, very high. So, if we can uh, soon go to a um, patient who has to take care um, as soon as possible, 
yeah, uh, those kind of um, operations we are talking with and uh, proceeding as a business. Excellent. Very cool. So SkyDrive has participated in the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas uh, past three years, uh, also with uh, Jetra's support. And I recall you had your uh, vehicle on display at our pavilion and yeah. got a lot of attention. So thank you again for, for thank that. Thank you a lot. So what, what did you learn from your participation at CES? And were you make, able to make some good connections or meet some potential partners? Yeah, it was a great opportunity for us here and go take a uh, CES and also uh, Jetro and help us to go uh, having a booth or announcement like that. So we could focus on our activity very well. So yeah, and thank you very much. And and as for example, in 2022, uh, we had a very big uh, showcase and many people know our vehicle uh, on a stage and we found and the use case of US is different from Japan. And uh, of course, uh, and also what kind of uh, people might be the uh, potential customer uh, we knew it. And also we uh, started to talk with uh, FAA, uh, US and CBO, CBO agent, uh, so that we can get certification in US too. So not only business side, but certification side and also a partnership side, uh, we uh, could start very well. and. After that, when we go to U.S. companies such as a part supplier like that, some people know about our show in CES, and that is very, very big um, potential uh, because uh, for them, it is not uh, just a foreign country uh, company, but uh, uh, yeah, and remembered well, like that, yeah. That's great, yeah. We're definitely glad you were able to get some good leads from the show. And so next, could you tell us a bit about your current partners in Japan and overseas and how are they helping SkyDrive to grow? Okay. And uh, there are many <coughs> and good comp um, different company in Japan. And there are 20 or 30 or like that uh, from uh, development support to uh, commercialization support. And also, for example, um, traffic control uh, company or like that. And in U.S., uh, we have uh, a business partner and uh, a development partner such as uh, part suppliers and also um, has a government support, a local government support, um, like South Carolina we announced uh, lately. Yeah. Right. So we mentioned that uh, you decided to expand your business to the U.S. and you're planning to establish your headquarters in South Carolina. So wh why did you choose the U.S. for your business? Yeah. Uh, two aspects. Uh, one is for business, and the biggest market of aviation is in the U.S., and many people are, are used to uh, go to sky uh, freely, like riding on a car, so the potential market is very big, and also for certification. So and if we can get certification in U.S. and or in FAA, uh, we can go easily to other countries uh, to start business too. Great. So what are some of the challenges that you faced uh, in expanding to the U.S. and how have you overcome those challenges? Yeah, um, yeah, everything is uh, challenging uh, than uh, doing the same thing in Japan as we don't know uh, the customs or how to proceed with project or uh, what kind of people is important to uh, do something. And yeah. And for example, on CES, on, yeah, uh, going to CES is one issue too. And I get support from JETRO members about those two. So yeah, we are very happy. <laughs> great, great. We are as well. And, you know, your success becomes our success as well. Thank you. Um, so next, could you tell us a bit more about your team? Yeah, uh, there are about uh, 200 to 300 <coughs> members in the company. And... Uh, 10 to 20 percent uh, are people from foreign countries and and um, background is on um, aircraft on um, automobile battery or <coughs> many uh, backgrounds people are uh, in skydrive so and uh, diversity is uh, good to make uh, innovation 
Great, definitely. So thinking about the next five years, uh, what is your overall outlook and what are your goals? Yeah, at first, uh, the most important thing is uh, complete our development and start selling our product uh, to the world. And yeah, we want to make uh, the most uh, safest and most uh, convenient to fly uh, to the sky. Yeah, I want to um, complete that to make people more happy. <clears throat> great, great. So what would you say is the potential for SkyDrive's growth, uh, both in Japan and overseas? Yeah. So uh, thinking of Japan, um, there are so many engineers of uh, automobile and uh, robot robotics and using electric electric electricity with battery and motor is all the same in the industry. <clears throat> so there are so many um, potential engineers or companies um, to, for Ibuito industry to grow up. And also uh, Japanese uh, government uh, are supporting us. So it is very good. And for thinking of global, um, many people are um, Many people love Japanese car too. So, and sometimes uh, we get uh, support from other country people too. And also as we are uh, growing to international company. So yes, uh, we want to uh, proceed uh, as a company of the most uh, compact and the most uh, easy to fly yeah, vehicle company. Great, great. So just a, a couple more questions. Um, so do you have any message you'd like to share for any global investors or potential clients that may be watching? Yeah. So and we want to support um, more um, from many aspects uh, to start our business and in many countries. And... In many countries, um, many people are suffering from uh, congestion or uh, traffic jam or a um, very difficult uh, load or like that. And we want to help those uh, move or logistics uh, by using air easily. But the use case or a potential client is different uh, from country to country or uh, region to region or like that. So uh, we want to um, help um, invest, investigate or cultivate uh, those potential customers or use case. And also uh, we, want, we have to uh, get uh, more financial support uh, to proceed uh, to starting <coughs> sufficiently. Yeah, so we are looking for um, many partners. Gotcha, okay. So, uh, last, just to wrap up, um, is there anything else you'd like to share or anything I missed, um, for you'd like to share with anyone watching? Yeah. And we are now, uh, finding a very good engineers, uh, from aerospace industries or other industries too. And, and many people, many engineers coming from abroad said, uh, we want to, we wanted to, uh, work in Japan. Uh, Japan has good um, seasons or scenery or uh, delicious food or like that. And yeah, uh, many members are <coughs> having a good lifetime in SkyDrive. And also, as we have many many engineers from foreign countries, so uh, the system is now uh, better and better. So yeah, ma many um, engineers in abroad doesn't know there is a, a working place in Japan comfortably, but yeah, here we have, so please um, come to SkyDrive. Okay, so for any uh, engineers out there looking for a new opportunity, please uh, consider SkyDrive. Yes. So thank you so much for your time, Fukuzawa-san. Thank you very much. So if you'd like to reach out to SkyDrive, uh, you may connect with them on LinkedIn or Facebook or through their website, skydrive2020.com. We also invite you to check out our other Japanese startup interviews on this channel. 
and we also have many startup pitch videos available. And for all things related to doing business in Japan, we'd like to remind you, talk to Jetro first. Thank you.